folks. Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Today we have a huge surprise for you. I mean massive. But first, here are 19 things you probably didn't know about life on Beagle Road. Kenny and I met online before like everybody met online. So he used to tell people that we met on Craigslist. We did not meet on Craigslist. Actually, I think we talked about that before. Crap, you probably did know that. Number one, Kenny and I lived a ton of the same places and never met. We both went to Penn State, we both lived in Reading, and we both lived in the same Philly suburb, and we never crossed paths. We actually knew a lot of the same people, but never met. So weird. Bridgie. Bridgie boo. When's your birthday? Halloween. Halloween. That's right, Bridget is our little Halloween baby. We love Halloween, so the fact that Bridget was born on Halloween oh, made me so happy. I mean, technically I was induced, so I kind of chose for her to be born on Halloween, but anyway, you can get there. See, I told you we loved Halloween. Well, at least I do. Next fact. Virginia Beach is our favorite place to vacation. It's the first place we took a family vacation and it's the best place we've ever taken a family vacation. Waterman's is our favorite restaurant there. And every year Kenny orders an orange crush, takes one sip and is like, oh, I can't drink this, my heartburn. Which leads into my next fact. Kenny loves wine as much as I do. That's right. He would like to give me a hard time about how much I like wine, but he likes it just as much. He just has bad heartburn and can't drink it. A bloodshot eye is very appropriate for fact number five. I am allergic to every animal we have except the goats. And of course the goats, I'm super allergic to their food and bedding. So that's fun. But if I avoided everything I was allergic to, we would have nothing fun. No fun animals, no fun activities. I would live in a bubble. You know, you deal with it. Even the dogs. I'm even allergic to the dogs. Not like super allergic, but if they lick me and slobber all over me, whew, hives everywhere. And guess who I get no sympathy from? I'll give you two guesses, but you're only gonna need one. Kenny has a master's degree in counseling psychology. Kenny, how often do you use that degree when we're having a marital dispute? Every single time. Lies! Lies, I tell you. Hey, Kenny. Yes, dear? What's your favorite food? Mmm, chicken, rice, and green beans. Pizza, cheese steaks, chicken wings. I said food, not foods. There's all kinds of categories. My favorite kind of food that you make, or? If you were on death row, you were about to be executed. Mm. What would you ask for for your last meal? A really big, fat, juicy steak with potatoes, boiled potatoes, not mashed. And boiled potatoes? Yeah, like boiled, cut up, and they're like soft, little pieces before you make mashed potatoes. Lathered in butter and salt. Yeah, and then green beans. Yep, with lots more butter. I think if it was my last meal, I would have chicken and waffles with a side of mashed potatoes. Of course you would. Some chicken with some starch piled on with some more starch. Sounds just like you. Well, if I'm about to croak, I mean, Might as well what's the harm? Starch it up. That's right. Oh. You just let him in. So fact number eight. Hurry up before the bugs come in. Our front door doesn't close tight and the dogs can open it. Kenny and I once made a life altering decision after reading a book on a flight to Nashville. Just for like, yeah, let's totally upend our lives mm -hmm. and it's fine. We just made this decision after reading some stuff a stranger wrote and, uh, you know, not a lot of sleep on a delayed flight. That's how we roll. I'm also allergic to kiwi. Makes me break out in hives and itch. This couch is the best financial investment we've ever made and we fight over this spot. I might film the rest of the video from right here just so I don't lose it. I am terrified of spiders. Nothing 
should have more than six legs. There's no reason for it. Kenny is terrified of snakes. Apparently he feels like nothing should have no legs. I mean, I don't like when snakes sneak up on me, but eh, you know. I guess part of it is we don't really have scary snakes either. We have garter snakes. It's pretty easy to be tough to a garter snake. Although if Kenny can find the footage of the rattlesnake we saw in California, I think he and Robbie are both scared of snakes. Speaking of Robbie, Robbie hates eggs. You make him eat an egg, be prepared for him to throw up on the table. Gross. Robbie also has two middle names and he loves hot sauce. Look behind you. I know who you are. <laughs> Bridget picked out that phone. I told you, we love Halloween. My favorite movie of all time is Steel Magnolias. I think I always wanted to at least secretly move to Louisiana after I watched that movie. I don't think I could take the heat though. In reality, if I could move anywhere, I wanna move to Montana. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. I don't think Kenny is up for that though. I think if we ever left here, it would be for a real farm or the city. Suburbs life's definitely not for us. I don't think Montana's for Kenny. I don't think Kenny wanted pets before we met. I'm pretty sure I had to talk him into Money Penny, like beg and plead for a dog. And now look at us. Look how happy he is. We both love sushi, but think oysters are gross. This dog was a rescue we almost didn't get because we weren't approved to get a puppy. They didn't think we could take care of a puppy. After I talked to the rescue and uh, allayed their fears that I had kept three humans, a bunch of goats, and a bunch of chickens alive, they decided that we probably could handle a puppy. Oh, I brought this cute boy home. Hmm. He's a really good dog. He's just a food thief, as you can see. Candy corn, I'm sure that was good for you. Silly boy. Kenny, do you have a fact you would like to share? I mean, I can grow a beard. I mean, these are supposed to be facts people don't already know. I didn't used to be able to grow a beard, but now I can. <sighs> You're the worst. I have never rendered tallow before. So I'm gonna start with this giant bag of it. And finally, for our very big surprise, <laughs> Chloe did not have babies. That's not the surprise. Okay, I know some of you have been waiting for this. You've been wondering. You've seen an ear here and there. You've seen an animal pop up in a video and you're like, what? That's not a goat or a kid or a chicken. So what is it? What you were seeing was an alpaca. Alpacas! Or more accurately, two alpacas. Alpaca? No, pretty sure it's alpacas. This is peekaboo. <laughs> peekaboo is, get down, a Surrey alpaca. She also loves food, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, don't you? Who loves snacks? Who loves snacks? The goats are trying to tackle me for this. Get down, get down. Here, Belle. And this is Belle. Hey, Peekaboo. Hey, you. Come here, Belle. Come here, Belle. Come here. No, that's a baby. How 
about those alpacas. I mean, I really identify with them. They generally try to avoid people. They'll get close if you're across a fence from them. And if you're starting to bug them, they'll walk away. But if you follow them, they will spit on you. They're kind of like a four-legged me. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more fun with the alpacas, me rendering that tallow, and the finale of the chicken coop build.